Hey guys, welcome back. We're back with another Guild War today, and we have a lot to talk about. So, first thing I want to do before getting into this Guild War is address the recent changes coming to Epic 7. Uh, more specifically, Edward is getting a buff, and I'm not sure how to feel about this, so I just wanted to talk about it from the start, because I am really- I've been super excited for Edward, I finally have him, I'm building him, I'm, I'm loving him, he is awesome, but I want to talk about the buff that's coming in. I looked at the changes that are going to be made by Smilegate to Edward, gosh I can't articulate, and I am excited yet apprehensive. I don't know how to correctly articulate my opinion to you guys, because right now, although I was a little disappointed with Edward's initial um, display of power, overall I think he's a rather balanced unit as he is now. But the buff and the way, and I'm not going to explain the buff, you can look it up yourself, but um, as I read the buff, I was like, this doesn't seem like a super OP change. Like, as I was reading it, I was like, this actually seems like it's going to be okay. So, I'm going to wait and see, I'm going to hold out my opinion, because I'm worried that Edward's going to be too OP, okay? I don't want that to happen. I don't want another Huayang. I don't want to deal with, you know, my favorite character being top of the meta, okay? Or one of my favorite characters being top of the meta, right? It's just not something I want to deal with. So I wanted to start out with this video by addressing that and saying I'm going to hold out my opinion until we get our hands on the new Edward and see how he plays in battle. But for now, I don't know how to feel about it. I really don't. I, again, I'm excited yet apprehensive. It's like a contradictory sort of thing going on. It's like a war of my own mind, you know. It's, it's, it's one of those things, right? So we're going to start off um, against this guild war against the guild Raise God. That's Raise as in R-A-Z-E, not R-A-I-S-E. So they clearly don't like God, which... As a Christian, I'm going to have to try and put them in their place. Let's see if God is with me today. We'll find out. We'll find out. He's been with me recently, right? We've been having some really good pulls, you know? The Lord Jesus is like, here, give this boy Edward. And you know what? He has succeeded. I got actually, um, I got an Edward on the first 10 pull. I got an Edward on the second 10 pull. And then I got an Edward in 60 pulls. And I still have over 600 bookmarks. So I can instantly get Roy for uh, pity if I need it. So, awesome. Um, this is my stats right now. Again, I need to 90 some of his gear. I'm pretty happy with most of his gear. This ring needs to be changed out, and I'm not too happy with this hat, but everything else I'm pretty happy with. Um, we'll be using him today probably a bit. Um, this top team, just looking at things, like, I don't see a way for the Rand to push everybody up, so I think Peyra Jacko is actually really good, because Peyra Jacko just tears his team apart. And then we can throw in Selene as well to counter the Rand. If he outspeeds, right? And then we'll be killing out of the Stra We'll be getting a big hit on Straze or Ran. Because Selene probably doesn't have higher attack than... Well, she might. I don't know. Um, either way, big hit. That's what matters, right? CR push, all that jazz. Um, bottom team is interesting. I'm definitely feeling a Roana game. Again, our Roana isn't that great. But she does do her job. And that's what matters, right? So I'm feeling a Roana Senya game here. I think a good stall is in order, and then we can do perhaps a Ravi because a Ravi is just disgusting. Um, certainly, certainly an option. I think we go with this. I'm not too too concerned about getting destroyed by the Arbiter Vildren and SSBS three. I don't think they'll kill anyone on my team in one go, unless Arby gabs, which would be bad, and then crits the Senya. Hmm. I'm not going to worry about it. I think that's a that's a relatively low possibility, so I'm going to ignore it for now. And if I pay the price, I pay the price, right? It's just, uh, you know, it's it's a gambling game. So we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> We're going to start off with this first fight. Let's see what happens. So we are faster than the Ran. Do we get the stun to push our entire team? That's the real question. No stun, but that's okay, actually, because Ran will always S2 here, pushing the Selene up further. And our Jacko is already faster than the uh, Spirit Iseline, which is the big problem, right? Spirit Iseline being the only issue, really, because Jacko deals with everybody else. So who has the highest attack here? Let's find out. Probably Straze, right? Perfect. That's awesome. I love that. <clears throat> so he does do that. Hopefully Selene... I don't think Selene's going to get pushed up here, is she? I wouldn't imagine so. Let's get rid of the Rand. Step 
And just like that, we are good. Oh, what if he's Moonlight Dream Blade, though, or something? Oh, no, I didn't calculate for that. I should have prioritized this. Well, let's see what happens here. Okay, no Moonlight Dream Blade or any Dodge Pock or something like that. I forget she's a um, thief. Um, I think she's a thief, right? If that had been a Dodge build, we might have been in trouble. But luckily, it was not, so we are safe. But why would it be a Dodge build, actually? Ooh! That is a fast arm- no, it's not. It's 210 speed, because Senny is like 208 or something like that. This is fine, actually. I'm going to go ahead and pop this. That is a slow SSP. Just for the gab. Just to see if we can get some provokes. Provokes would be very much appreciated. No- oh, he does gab! That's what I was worried about. <clears throat> Luckily, not an issue. We gotta be careful here, though. Vigil and I are gonna proc, so we're fine. We're gonna get another shield. We're gonna do this. I don't think Rowana is in danger of dying. Beautiful. Now we're gonna pop this up. Just to have it up. As you can see, our Rowana is a very low, uh, <laughs> very low HP target. So we are in oogles of trouble. Alright, she's gonna do that. Does she get unhealable on us? She does, that is an issue. We do have revive though. Oh, he provoked though, that's unfortunate. Hmm. If Arbor Vildred revives here, it's a big problem, right? Well, he's gonna go anyway, right? Hmm. Certainly an issue. Certainly. This is a tough spot we're in. Imagine if Arby gabs and then crits Senya. That'd be bad news bears, guys. I think we go for Arby anyway. No Spear New Dawn proc. That's really bad. That was an 80% chance. Hmm, guys, we're in big trouble. Yeah. Gabbed again. Gabbed for the third time. Okay. It's getting nervous here. Mr. Crown Senia, please. No Spear New Dawn proc. That's another Spear New Dawn miss. Crit the, uh, ooh, crit the Roana. Crit the Roana. Okay, I need Sen Senia. My friend. Okay. Okay. We're getting very dangerously close here to a big problem. Is Armin the bigger issue here? I think so. Don't crit me. Senya? Senya got crit. And I'm defense broken. Miss? Nope. Crit. Okay. Maybe I should have targeted the SSB there. That was my bad. <clears throat> Very unlucky, though. Very unlucky. So apparently the luck is no longer with me, which is under- you know what? Honestly, I'll trade a little bad luck in Guild War for some good luck on uh, the banners, so that's fine. Um, I'm honestly okay with that. Uh, top team, I think we could just do the same thing, right? This is not- this is not new stuff. This is gonna work out, I think. Um, we lost a Ravi though. That's huge. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah. I don't- I, I'm, I'm impressed with the amount of times RB gabs, honestly. That's all I can say. Uh, no Rowana anymore, so that's unfortunate. If she was a little better built, we probably would've won that. But hey, it's it's whatever. Just, uh, more incentive to build up our characters, right? More incentive. Um... BBK, probably a good option here. Let's use our own RB. Let's see if we can get our own gabs. <laughs> Pardon. Um, a little worried about that Rem, but... Not too, too worried. 
We probably actually could just S through the Rem with our Yulha, honestly. That that probably is the better idea, to be honest with you. I don't think that Rem is going to be 200 effectiveness, so I don't think BBK is in any danger of getting stripped. Um, with that being said, I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, th th these are my teams. These are what I'm going for. Ah, man, that's unfortunate. Bad news bears, right? We're faster again. These guys have some slow teams. My Ari or my Para is not very fast. Not a very fast Para. 260 speed. <clears throat> so we are going to. I say that as she's the fastest unit on my account, by the way. <laughs> it's because I'm a bad player. Alright. And then we're going to do this because this is the only guy that matters. Ran will always S2, so he will always proc Selene. Oh, Selene's faster. Well, we win then, because this is a 100% chance to crit, and this is an attack buff. There's no way you live. Easy dub. <clears throat> Alright, this is a scary fight, right? Because we got Huayang, we got all sorts of things. SSB actually outspeeding. Okay, actually that's fair. I just realized my Arbiter Villager is only like 200 speed. Ooh, low crit rate. That's not good. Um, do I want to do this? Do I want to S3? I just realized it doesn't matter if you deep... Where the fuck is the Wyong? That Rem is faster than the Wyong? Goodness gracious. Well, we're going to do this anyway. Get some blinds. Beautiful. Guarantee miss on Yulha. High miss on... Yep, perfect. No miss there. Okay, but we got the miss, so that's okay. Perfect. Okay, this is going to grant Rem... Uh, oh, never mind. I thought this was going to grant Rem demon mode, but she missed on uh, Arbor Villager, so that's good. This should never kill, right? You don't have an attack buff. Woo! Never kill, I say, huh? So that is that. Huang is low enough HP where I'm not concerned about it. I'm more concerned about the Rem making a comeback. So I'm going to get rid of the Rem. No <clears throat> I'm going to get rid of the Rem. Odd choice, I know, but she's the only one that can recover HP. 26k, beautiful. This should do a ton of damage. Tons of damage. That actually killed the Huang. I'm surprised. And now the SSP is dead. So we won that one. Not even good luck. I don't think if that ran had outspit it would have mattered, but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Whoa, voice crack. All right, last team. I haven't even looked at this yet. Okay, we got Rimuru. Ooh, ooh, that's scary, man. It's a scary team. So I think Celine is going to be a good option here. Um. Pavel might just outspeed, though, and one-shot everybody, which is kind of an issue, to be honest with you. Completely honest with you, here. This gentleman right here, with this gentleman right here, very hard to beat. Very difficult to beat, team. I'm going to run this. I think it's the best option. Bottom team is a bigger issue, right? Ravi and Rimuru, huge problems. I think a cleave is in order. But the issue is, I can't really cleave as much as I'd like to. Because Rimuru is super bulky. And no matter what I do, I'm going to be hitting him with a buff. So it's going to be a net gain of zero, I think. That is just a very difficult team to face down there at the bottom. I don't have any way of, like, subjugating this. Hmm. Do we even fight it? Would it be wise? It's probably not wise to fight something like this bottom team. With such strong units. Especially when we don't have an A-Ravi of our own to back us up. But I mean, you gotta live a little, man. You know? You gotta live a little. Um, how are we going to beat this? You don't really have anybody that can do some good damage, right? Flan, maybe, but what are the odds that the Flan is faster than the Rimuru and the Meteor care work? Probably not. 208 speed, that's not very fast. I, I need to work on Flan. This doesn't even have a speed substat. Whoopsie. This does. It's not terrible. What is this? 11 speed. I have some really bad gear on her. Whoa, no speed there. Flynn is just naturally fast, huh? Wow. Wowzer. 
Um. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I really don't. I have one Hail Mary play that I'm thinking of in my head. And my Hail Mary play is Opsig. Does Meteor Coeric, I don't remember, does Meteor Coeric uh, shield with the S3? I'm positive he does. Hmm. Because then I could run, like, Amelia and try and, like, one-shot the Rimuru. And then deal with the a Robbie somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna do that though. It's just, uh. This is a really impossible fight for me. I shouldn't be trying to fight this. I really shouldn't. I guess my Hail Mary is that Peyra hits her Restrict on Rimuru somehow. Gets the 50 50 and then avoids the 15%. And then my rest of the team just destroys him. I don't know, man. That looks like a very bulky team. Imagine if I had shoe built, that might be cool. No. She would just get one shot by Rimura. Get oak oh, code. Okie dokied. We could go Dark Corvus, but like, no. That would be a terrible idea. This is gonna be an attack draw no matter what I do. I can just tell. I can feel it in my bones. I don't have anyone built. Such a shame. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's go for it anyway. YOLO, right? Maybe we get lucky with some 25%. I think that's my best bet. Who knows? We had some pretty bad luck earlier this game. I have good luck later. You never know. You never know, right? It's a, that's probably a suicide mission, but... Alright, so Pavel's actually slower. Perfect. So now I get this. Pavel's gone. That's huge. Absolutely huge. Now, does he strip the BBK is the question. I'm guessing not. No strip. But he did one-shot everyone. That is an issue. Now, I need this Arbiter Villager to do... Wow, we might be in trouble, guys. Because I don't think I'm going to kill anyone here with Ida. Or not Ida, sorry. Oh. Hold on. Wait, why don't you have Skill Null? Oh, it's S2 that gives Skill Null for her. Oh! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I thought we were in trouble there, but no. no one can escape. Oop, so oop. Ash. Perfect. Surprised he killed the Selene, though. That's pretty crazy. Okay, we are faster. Alright, now our only hope here is to stun the Rimuru. Because no matter what we do, we're going to activate Rimuru, and he's going to S2 and push forward, right? Now... If he does S2 and push forward, I'm just going to have to YOLO with Peyra and go for extra stuns, right? That's my only goal. We do miss the Rimuru. Do we get the stun on him? No, we do get the stun on the gentleman. Oh, this doesn't kill, does it? Okay. Um, I need the other two alive, so what I need to do is I actually need to go for a stun right here. No stun. That's fine. We are actually faster, though. I wonder. That's That Rimuru doesn't look like he has a lot of HP... Let's go for it. Let's see if we can't kill him. Melissa was supposed to be faster, but, you know, it sucks. Okay, actually, that Rimuru doesn't have as much HP as I thought. So hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. Hold on just a minute. He's going to cleanse off debuffs anyway. Um... You know what? I'm gonna do this. I can't risk it. Do can I? No, I can't risk it. I need to go for this. <clears throat> I need to. 
I don't want to risk her living this. Yeah, I didn't think she would live that, but on the off chance that she did, I really didn't want to risk it. Um, I don't need immunity this turn or immortality. I'm just going to hold it. He wore horns. I can't believe we're actually set out to win this. Like, that was very lucky that the Reamer was... Hold on, we can still lose. Yeah, we can still lose. Fuck. We gotta be careful here. Meteor Kawarik solo is certainly possible. That did nothing, dude. Okay. Let's keep an eye on Melissa's HP. Vampire touch. Perfect. Okay, let's go for an S3 here. This is gonna do a ton of damage because he's debuffed. Penetrates his defense. Doesn't kill. That's okay, because Melissa's gonna survive. And now we S1 here, always. Perfect. GG's. So we got really unlucky in the first match there, but actually it turned around and we got really lucky in the uh, next matches. So that's awesome. I'm surprised that the Rimuru didn't either A, cut, or B, survive. That Rimuru must be not as well built as most of the other Rimurus I have fought. Because he should have either cut my dude, or he should have um, survived. Then again, we did get lucky with the dual stun on uh, A Ravi and Meteor Kerwick. Uh, the stun on A Ravi is really the only thing we needed. So, awesome, awesome sauce. A um, little luck there to make up for the massive bad luck at the start, right? So that's it for Guild War. Um, hopefully we get a dub this game, but I don't think we're going to. Um, unfortunately... I'm very upset about this, by the way, this uh, this defense draw. This was very, very unlucky. But that's my own fault for not having my Rowana built as well. Just food for thought for the future. We will get her built in the future. Alrighty.